Okay guys, so I'm going to start on my scratch built flight streak control line airplane. And so I've got a piece of foam uh, attached to my building board or big building table. And then I've got the plans taped down on top of that and then a piece of wax paper taped on top of the plans. So um, I'm going to reposition the camera so that you can see less of me and more of what I'm actually working on and we'll start building. Okay so I'm going to start by pinning the spar down to the, to the plan. Just got some big big T-pins. Pin it down with. So I have my ribs that I cut on my my home built uh, laser cutter. I did um, slightly modify these ribs um, in the the front nose area because I wanted to use the balsa sheeting around the nose to make a, a basically a C um, a C shaped uh, a C shaped uh, leading edge of the wing. Okay guys, so I've got the ribs glued to the bottom spar. Um, I did have to space the bottom spar up off the building board by a sixteenth of an inch. And that's so that they... Uh, so that the ribs fit in properly. I have the the front of the ribs relieved so that the um, so that the sixteenth inch sheeting that goes over the leading edge can glue to the top of the top and bottom of the spar. So I had to make sure that was up a sixteenth of an inch off the table. Um, I built built a bell crank and I've got the got the bell crank floating bell crank partially installed here I still have the top plywood sheet that needs to to go on there and then next I'll be putting in the top spar which I have put together it's balsa wood with uh, carbon fiber so I don't know if you can see that it's got carbon fiber on there we go on one side so I'll be gluing that in okay I'm gonna Glue this top spot right now.
uh, plywood top bell crank mount down. Alright, there's the top of the trailing edge glued on. 